Hello, hello everybody. Merry Christmas to all of the folks in the room who are celebrating Christmas today and happy Saturday, December 25th to all of us who are just celebrating Saturday. Uh, we're here in the middle of the month of December, which somehow always feels special. The combination of winter coming and the year about to change. And I'm so super excited that I'm in here with all of you today getting to celebrate uh, my version of Christmas and of December, which most assuredly includes singing with all of you. Hands up to everybody in the room. Love you guys all so much. Uh, welcome to everybody out there on Facebook Live. You're here at the Daily Antidote of Song. It's one song every day at noon Eastern. As you can see, it doesn't matter what the holiday is. We are right here singing together as a community. And all are welcome. You can join us here in the room or you can join us on Facebook Live every day. And I want to say hello to everybody in the room. Hello to Carol Maylard coming in from New York. Sweet Honey in the Rock and uh, going to sing one song for us today. Hello to Aaron Geyer running the tech today. Thank you so much. Hello to Phil Hogue coming in from England, and we are so glad you are here today, uh, ready to sing with us. And Anna Alter, Daily Antidote Assistant in the room today, coming in from Maine. Hi, Annette in California. Hello, Mabel and Bob in Mass. Hi, Becky in British Columbia. Hello, Aloysius uh, under an airplane wing, I think. Hello to Hoda in British Columbia and Kathy in Virginia. Lovely tree, thank you for being here. Hi, Sheila in Florida with what looks like maybe a seal waving at us, lovely. Hello to Trish. Coming in from British Columbia, nice to have you with us today. And Father Christmas plus Arlene in her beautiful, beautifully crafted square. Uh, nice to see you today, Arlene, coming in from Berkeley. Sarah in Texas, hello, glad you're here with us today. Merry Christmas to all of these amazing people in the room and happy December. Hello to Susan G coming in from Ohio, glad to see you. And Deborah in Kentucky, hello, glad to see you. Shari in New Hampshire, hello, I'm not glad you're here today. Rosalie and friend, maybe polar bear friend. Nice to see you today. Oh, no, not reindeer friend. Hello, Rosalie and reindeer friend. Nice to see you. Don and some of the various and sundry curly tops coming in from Vermont. Glad to see you today. And hello and hugs to the kiddos and to your wife. Hello, Kat in Vermont. Nice to have you with us today. Kathleen in Albuquerque, complete with giant snow bear. I love it. And thank you for being with us today, Kathleen. Kevin Ennis coming in from New Hampshire. Beautiful smile, Kevin. Glad to see you. Hello to Deli coming in from Maryland. Glad you're here today. Hello to Martha in Oregon. Nice to see you again. We're glad you're back. Ruth in Birmingham, England. Nice to have you with us today. Glad you're here. Jamie in Victoria. Leeson in Clarksville, Indiana. Nice to have you. Hello to Cliff in Vermont and maybe Lynn. Yep, there's Lynn in the background. Glad to see both of you guys today. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to Caroline in D.C. holding up a beautiful thing. We'll have to spotlight in a while. That looks gorgeous. And hello to Bonnie and Ione in Michigan. Glad both of you are here today. And lovely backdrop you have chosen for the day. Hello to Amanda and Alex and Miles all there in the room ready to sing, sing, and sing. Hi to Storm coming in from Massachusetts. Beautiful hat, Storm. Susan in Seattle complete with reindeer antlers and smaller version of herself in reindeer dress. I love it. Beautiful, nice to see you, Susan. Steve and Michelle in Maryland, glad you guys are both here today. Hello to Christiana and Bob in Maryland, glad you guys are both here today. They're so busy singing already, they don't even notice we're talking to them. Hi to Julie in Ontario, glad you're here today, Julie. Hugs and love to you. And to Ralph and to Penny in Victoria, glad to see you both. Hello, Penny Hand. Moria, so glad you're here today, coming in from San Jose, I'm glad to see your face. Hello to Johnny, also coming in from California, nice to see you. And Carol in Connecticut, good to see you today. Nice smile and glad you're here. And let's see who else is here. Carolyn and Kermit the Frog and Bear coming in today from, I don't remember where she is on her travels, but somewhere else. And a beautiful Santa hat and you look very happy. I'm glad you are celebrating Christmas with some other folks. Curly Tops, one and two. Glad to see both of you today. Thank you for being here. Oh no, wait, that's a Curly Top and Mom. Nice to see both of you today. And hello to the invisible other Curly Top. Hello to Fred, nice to see you coming in from Silver Spring, Maryland. Lynn in Connecticut, hello. Nancy in Western Mass, glad you're here today. And I'm uh, super glad to be either meeting you or seeing you again. I can't actually remember with. Well, welcome if you've been here before. And Sandra Moore coming in from Maryland. Sandy, I'm glad to see you. And hello to Mark and company. Hello Jane in Texas, nice to have you today. Sally in New Jersey, hello, glad you made it. And Storm, wait, Storm, how come you're there again? Okay, and folks, off video, I think we've got a Kirsten in the room today who's new to us. Thanks, Kirsten, for being here. Lisa and Karen in Oregon and Anne, who's coming in from Maryland. Joni and Tusi in Western Mass, maybe also new to us. 
Jean and Tuki and other folks who may still be joining. Uh, thank you so much for being with all of us today. Hello to Lynn in Connecticut. I don't know if I see, saw you. Everybody, let's take a deep breath. Wishing all of you every kind of beautiful Christmas spirit and December spirit today and holiday spirit and daily antidote spirit that I can possibly wish to all of you. I am feeling very full being with all of my family here and I hope everyone is finding their fullness in whatever celebrations they're managing to have uh, this day, this week, and this month. Um, so I think that I would love to start by asking Phil if he would lead us in a song and then I'm gonna follow up by asking Carol to lead us in a song and then we're just gonna see what happens next. Phil, thank you so much. Hello everyone, thanks. Uh, Merry Christmas! Of course, here in the UK, we're a few hours ahead of all of you. Um, so we've I've had my Christmas dinner, we've, we've pulled the crackers, as you can see, um, and uh, the rest of the family are kind of in that, that sort of post-Christmas dinner dip, perhaps. Um, but anyway, I, I'm really happy and raring to go with all of you. Um, wherever you are today and wishing you a, a really happy day. Um, so I, I, I thought I'd like to offer this song to begin with because it's a good rousing uh, number. It's another wassail actually, we've had a few wassails this week. Um, so this one uh, is called the Jacob Stowe wassail, it's a traditional uh, English uh, wassail, carol. Uh, it's also known as Little Robin Rest Redbreast, Little Robin Redbreast. Um, and it, I suppose it is a bit of a drinking song, as most wassails are. Um, wassail actually meaning good health. Um, so good health to all. Um, and this one kind of goes through the pleasures of each type of drink, but this isn't to encourage you to take up drinking. Of course, you could substitute any other uh, drinks that, that you prefer. Um, and it's just for fun. So um, here we go. This is the... Uh, Jacob Stowe Wassail. Uh, so it is very, very rousing. Uh, and it starts with just a, a double wassail. It just goes like this. Shall we try that together? Are you ready? Good. I wonder if there's any way I can see like all of you rather than just myself to see you You're really was sailing with with full uh, full power there. Okay, so that is the beginning and um, then really it kind of repeats itself. So so maybe we'll just go through um, but that part that part wherever you sing was sail, um, it would be great to see the, the mugs come up or the flagons and uh, a big a big daily antidote chorus of sound going out around the world. So here we are from, from, the, from the beginning, wassail. Jolly was sail. Oh, little Robin Redbreast. 
Rusty has a fine leg, give us of your sign, or we'll begin to beg with our Johnny Everybody, that was beautiful. What's on your mug? Oh, oh, ooh. oh this one, I just picked it random from the kitchen. It says, uh, the tall ships race, uh, Sunderland 2018. Yay. All right, that's a little hard to sort of tie into the conversation. So moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> you should I have warned that. I could have prepared another yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's just a, just a curious because it looked so cool. Um, so I'm super happy uh, that you just shared that with us. There can never be too much wassail or too many wassail songs. And boy, it actually made me think, like, wouldn't it be fun sometime to just pull them all into one event and sing, like, one wassail after another after another? Um, there's so many beautiful ones, and we haven't hit anywhere near all of them. Um, so thank you so much. And uh, we're going to come back to you. I'm going to switch over to Ms. Mai in the room, Carol Maylard. Sweet Honey in the Rock. Carol, if you can unmute yourself uh, and we will begin. Yep, it's okay. I muted you and now you, there you go. Thank you. I'm good. Yeah, you're perfect. So welcome. I know that you have brought us a beautiful song to sing for us on Christmas Day here. So I'm turning it over to you. Please, please take the floor. Yes, indeed. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Joe and your beautiful crew. Phil, thank you for that. That is the first wassail I have ever sung in my life and I hope that it's not the last so thank you for that um the song that I selected is uh it's a it's a traditional spiritual Christmas spiritual and it's from uh Odetta's repertoire and it's called Ain't That Rockin and I was going to sing something else I kept saying oh you know sing Silent Night something traditional but all week long this song has been going going on in my head. Um, it's really great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you all the chorus. And I believe that you will have the lyrics. It's very simple. So here we go. And I have no sign, no hand signs or anything. So you all can rock or you could do whatever it is that you like, but do something physical. It would be great to do something physical every time you do the chorus. If that's all right with everybody, please give me the sign language, okay. Amen, I love seeing that. All right, here we go. I will sing the whole chorus through and then I'll sing a line and go like this and you know how to do it. Ain't that a rockin' all night? Ain't that a rockin' all night? Ain't that a rockin' all night long? Ain't that a rockin' all night long? Ain't that a rockin' all night? Ain't that a rockin' all night? All night long, go kid. All night long, let's try it again. Ain't that a rockin' all night? Mm -hmm. Ain't that a rockin' all night long? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ain't that a rockin' all night, all night long? I put them together. Uh uh. Ain't that a rockin' all night? All night long, all together. Ain't that a rockin' all night? 
Ain't that a rocking all night long? Ain't that a rocking all night, all night long? Me, Mary had a baby born in Bethlehem. Every time the baby cried, she rocked him in a weary land. Oh, ain't that a rocking all night? Ain't that a rocking all night long? Ain't that a rocking all night, all night long? The wise men came from the east, the baby they did see. The Lord told Mary, oh, what a blessing, just rocking in a weary land. Oh, ain't that a rocking all night? Ain't that a rocking all night long? Ain't that a rocking all night? all night long. Oh, King Herod, he heard the news, the baby he did seek. The Lord told Mary, don't you worry, just rock him in a weary land. Oh, ain't that a rocking all night? Ain't that a rocking all night long? Ain't that a rockin' all night, all night? One more. Ain't that a rockin' all night? Ain't that a rockin' all night long? Ain't that a rockin' all night? Bam! All night long. Yes, they did now. All night long, little baby. All night, rock in middle weary land. All night long, little baby. All night long, all night, all night. Lord. Thank you. Woo! Carol Mailer in the house. Oh, I love that song so much. I've been singing it. I can't stop singing it in my head all day, you know. Sweet. Yeah, it's a great tune. Great tune. It's gorgeous. And I loved how you did it. I loved all of, yeah, you say you, say you don't have any gestures. And then of course you were like, you were you so know. getting into it. Now. <laughs> That's how I sing with I my love it. Ooh, all of that. That is so cool. Carol, thank you so much. That was absolutely perfect. And uh, we, we had talked about Carol bringing a silent night. And I got to say, we scored uh, when you had your mood change, because that was really a lot of fun. So thank you yeah, so much. Yeah. Thank you, and, Rob. So, thanks, everybody. Yeah. yeah, probably all of us can manage our own silent night at home, even if we aren't great singers. Uh, That's but we don't, we don't have a lot hard time managing that one, uh, since I bet lots of us in the room didn't even know it yet. And so thank you for teaching us a new song and for singing yeah. with us. So... Tell me a little bit about sort of how you are feeling today. It's Christmas and, you know, there's the ups and the downs. We're in weird times uh, and uh, I know you're on your own today. What, what do you want to tell us? Um, I, let's see. Whew. Very interesting. I decided uh, that I was going to have a very quiet, low key unto myself holy day today. In um, Catholicism, Christmas is considered a holy day. You go to mass, get communion, you know, think about the baby Jesus. And Sweet Honey does a, a wonderful concert that we call the Holy Days, celebrate the Holy Days, which encompasses a lot of different traditions from Diwali all the way to Three Kings Day, which is, guess what? It's January 6th the Feast of the Epiphany. So I've been thinking about all of that, you know, all day. I just, I'm just quiet, unpacking still, cleaning my house, 
talking to my loved ones. I did an interview today about the power of music on WBAI radio. And then I came on with you all. So I'm just chilling. I'm, I saw, I'm just chilling. Loving the fact that I'm alive. And he, well, and you yeah. all. Thank you, Carol. We're loving the fact that you're alive and loving the fact that you're <laughs> alive with us in this room, bringing all that lively energy here. And, uh, you know, uh, on the subject of giving and receiving, I have to say, I only just realized as I was sitting here that both of the artists who are in the room with us today also signed up for our uh, secret friend to dote gift exchange. Um, and so epiphany is actually the day we're going to have the big reveal about who got who so i just love the idea that we're looking at this room full of people nobody say anything but there's somebody in this room that's sending to phil in england and sending to carol in new york and somebody who's going to be receiving from each of them too and i just think that is the coolest thing ever like the way this community has really like come together and uh you know just sharing all in the same space no matter where we're living no matter what our profession is no matter what what here we all are um nobody there's no sense of uh of e unequal it's all just everybody in the same space and i think that is the most beautiful thing in the entire world um whether you're famous artists like phil and carol or whether you're just little old joe the host of the daily antidote or whatever you may be uh we are all uh friends and uh, sending each other little treats to make each other's smiles bigger and days feel better. So I'm so, so excited, uh, Carol and Phil, that you guys both joined into the fun. Um, and uh, let's see, so hoping to see both of you actually on the epiphany when we do our big uh, chat here in the room. Now, I'm pretty sure that Phil has more music for us. So I'm gonna turn it back over to Phil and uh, maybe we could have another song and and um and then we'll pause again thanks so much everybody thanks for all the lovely just the loveliness the lovely feeling and the messages in the chat is just so lovely um yeah and uh, epiphany uh, it's my favorite word in the english language actually epiphany and um yeah definitely i'm, I'm very happy to be part of the uh the friend it out I've sent, I've sent mine off. I mean, you, whoever it is, is totally going to know where it has come from, but that's fine. Um, so, um, yeah, I, how, how, I've borrowed this, this beautiful mic, which is apparently like a really top of the line microphone, but I, can you hear me all right? I'm speaking right into it now. You're, you're a little quieter now, so you probably want to turn it up a tiny bit. And uh, when we did sound check, there wasn't any um anything weird about the piano so it might have just been that that sound uh that last song was louder than what we checked with so all i would right. say if you want to sing me a line and i'll give you a all right this one is much softer it's a lullaby so so all the levels are going to be turned upside down in a way um so let, let's try i can always drop the piano out if it's if it's cutting it um so it's a, a lullaby that that i heard oh now Everyone's saying now the sound is not so good. Hang on a second. Oh, there you You're go. Good. Better? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Um, so it's a, a lullaby that I, that I heard quite recently. Um, I really liked it. I think I'd heard it, you know, further uh, back as well. It's a French lullaby uh, for Christmas um, from Provence. And the name is Bring a Torch, Jeanette Isabella. I think it's got a lovely tune. It's very short. Um, and I thought maybe um, there are just two verses. I think probably we'll just sing them uh, rather than teaching and, and uh, sort of replying. Um, but maybe um, after we've sung them, we could just have a little bit of sort of lullaby effect. Maybe we could just try some ahs or, or anything that you fit, think fits at home with the piano. And then we'll probably go around it again because um, it's it's quite short. Um, okay, I might just start playing through the melody to begin and then I'll bring you in. So fingers crossed for the sound and Merry Christmas in a different way, a more a more kind of contemplative Christmas song.
Bring a torch, Jeanette Isabella. Bring a torch, come swiftly run. Christ is born, tell the folks of the village. Jesus is sleeping in his cradle. Ah, ah beautiful is the mother. Ah, ah, beautiful is her son. Hasten now, good folk of the village, hasten now, the Christ child to see. You will find him asleep in the manger, quietly come, whisper softly, hush, hush. Peacefully now he slumbers, hush, hush. Peacefully now he sleeps. Bring a torch, Jeanette Isabella, bring a torch, come swiftly run. Christ is born, tell the folk of the village, Jesus is sleeping in his cradle. Ah, ah beautiful is the mother, ah, ah. Beautiful is her son. Shall we finish it off? Hasten now, good folk of the village. Hasten now, the Christ child to see. You will find him asleep in the manger. Quietly come, whisper softly, hush, hush. Peacefully now he slumbers, hush, hush, peacefully now he sleeps. Hmm. Oh, thanks oh, so much. Phil, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> that was really lovely. That feeling. is so beautiful. Mm, it's a yeah, beautiful song. Perfect isn't it? lullaby. Yeah, amazing song. And I feel like somehow I know other words to it, um, like that there were, I, or maybe I just only knew it in French. I don't know. I never knew what I was singing. Um, it, that is really, really gorgeous. And um, I haven't heard that one yet this season. So it was really mm. nice to. It's a, ra it's a rarity. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very beautiful. Um, so let's see. I think that you had one more song for us, which I think we should definitely do more singing and less talking today. Um, but before we switch into it, do you want to uh, give us any kind of a holiday message or anything that you'd like to say to this group of beautiful people? <laughs> oh, well, just just what we all think that it's just amazing. And, and what a gift this has been in this weird year. This is kind of, you know, it's quite a big part of everyone's life and I just feel really fortunate like it just fell into place and even like the timing it's five o'clock in the UK which is a really convenient time for me if it was noon every day I, I totally couldn't make it but it it's just all fitted so you know thanks so much for for the brilliant energy and um, I don't know you just feel lifted up be, being with you all so it's fab um, yeah, yeah. Thanks. So Merry Christmas uh, and enjoy your Christmas dinners still to come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, talk about lifting people up. Phil, you have lifted us up so many times in this space mm -hmm. and we're looking forward to 2022 and lots more hosting and singing with you. And uh, thanks again to everybody in the room. Ms. Carol Maylard, are you still in the house? And would you like to say anything before we uh, shift into Phil's last song um, at... Yeah. I just want to wish everyone a beautiful day, a beautiful holy time, 
just to continue to give love and be kind, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. The smallest gesture can really in, make a difference in someone's day and could also change their whole, their whole vibe. So just continue to give love. Thank you so much, uh, Carol. It's just so beautiful to have gotten to know you in this year. And from mm -hmm. everybody in this room, I'm sending you so much gratitude and love for your presence and your wisdom. And uh, uh, it looks like I've got some folks appearing in my screen here. Uh, that's Nico and I think Ona saying hello to everybody. I didn't even look. Hello, sweetie. Um, saying hello to everybody. And uh, I hope everybody in, in the room, if you don't have a being with you today, hug your pet or you're stuffy, um, or if you have to go out and hug a tree unless it's 18 degrees and sleeting, like it is here, in which case, uh, hug a fake tree in the warmth of your living room. Look at some hugs going on there. There's some curly top hugs going on over there. I love it. I bet there's some Amanda and Miles and Alex hugs going on. There's a Mabel and Bob hug going on. I bet there's a Christiana and Bob hug going on. Look at this. Oh, I wish we could spotlight all of the hugs because this is way too precious. Another curly top screen with hugs and some cat hugs, and I'm loving it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Uh, for Facebook Live folks, I'm so sorry if you can't actually see all of these beautiful hugs because it's absolutely gorgeous. So let's see, Phil, what do you have for us um, to swing us out of the room? Okay, to swing us to swing us out. Um, well, I, I, um, I just, this carol came into mind. Uh, Star in the East, also known as brightest and best of the sons of the morning. And um, I know there's, there's kind of a sacred harp uh, version of this song, which is brilliant, it's a fantastic tune, but there's also a kind of uh, British kind of hymn tune version as well. Uh, so we could do either, but I'm tempted to do the British hymn tune with you because it's very, it's a very kind of uh, rousing but solid tune, like a really good solid hymn tune. Um, so if you don't mind, I'll, I think I'll do that tune, and um, if you know it, Please join in if you want to just pick it up as we go. Um, then that would be lovely too. Um, so, brightest and best of the sons of the morning. And that that's kind of a chorus that comes at the beginning and repeats at the end. Uh, so it goes like this. Brightest and best of the sons of the morning, dawn on our darkness and lend us thine aid. Star in the east, the horizon adorning, guide where our infantry deemer was laid. Hail the blessed morn, see the great mediator, down from the regions of glory descend. Shepherds go worship the babe in the manger, lo for his God the bright angels attend. Cold on his cradle the dewdrops are shining, lo lies his bed with the beasts of the stall. Angels adore him in slumbers reclining, Wise men and shepherds before him do fall. All together. Brightest and best of the sons of the morning, dawn on our darkness and lend us thine aid. Star in the east, the horizon adorning, guide where our infantry teamer was laid. There we go. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that was too short. Phil, oh, too short. <laughs> yeah, do you have something else you want to throw us as a little encore? I love putting people on the spot. <laughs> oh, um, I already asked. How about, how, how about that? Um, hang on a second. How about the um, right? This is totally off the cuff and on the spot. But how about uh, just a quick blast of uh, "Rise Up, Shepherd, and Follow"? I don't even know if I know this very well, but I'm just digging out the words. Um, oh well, basically, it's a, call and, it's a call and response. So your response is just "Rise Up, Shepherd, and Follow" every time. Okay, so something like 
There's a star in the east on Christmas morn. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. It'll lead to the place where the Savior's born. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. Leave your ewes and leave your lambs. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. Leave your sheep and leave your rams. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. Follow, follow, rise up, shepherd, and follow. Follow the star of Bethlehem, rise up, shepherd, and follow. If you take good heed to the Savior's words, rise up, shepherd. You'll forget your flocks, you'll forget your herds, rise up, shepherd, and follow. Leave your ewes and leave your lambs, rise up, shepherd, and follow. Leave your sheep and leave your rams, rise up, shepherd, and follow. There's a star in the east on Christmas morning. It'll lead to the place where the Savior's born, rise up, shepherd, and follow. Bill in Newcastle, thank you so much. That was so, so beautiful. And if you pulled that one out of a hat, it so didn't show. And uh, just to be clear, when I put Phil on the spot, it wasn't about on the spot as to whether or not he would give us another song. It was just as to whether or not he had actually picked the one he was going to do. And you picked the just right one. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. Oh, thanks so much. Well, it's easy. It's easy with you guys. You're just so great. So. We like everything you do. All right, so Carol Maylard, I'm throwing it back to you. Do you want to give us one verse of Silent Night to take us out of the room, or do you prefer to just sit there right there by your lonesome and be quiet and uh, wait? You have to unmute, though. You done? <laughs> You're in. Am I in? You're in. OK. Now, just so everyone knows that this uh, this version of Silent Night is also on YouTube with Sweet Honey singing, and it's a video. There's a very poignant video that goes along with this version of Silent Night. Here we go. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin, mother and child, holy infant, so tender and mild, sleeping heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Silent night, holy night, Son of God, love's pure light, radiant beams from thy holy face, with the dawn of redeeming grace. Jesus, Lord, at thy, at thy birth. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Oh, 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 silent night, holy night, silent night. Holy night, it's a holy night, silent night, oh, silent night. Carol Maylard. That was so beautiful and the perfect way for us to end our Christmas Day celebration with Carol Maylard.
And Phil Hogg, thank you so much to both of you for being here with this crowd on Christmas Day and sharing with us um, some of your own singing traditions. Um, before I say goodbye to everybody on Facebook Live, two quick things. One is I want to remind everybody that our fundraiser goes through December 31. And whilst I hate sitting here speaking about fundraising in the middle of Christmas Day, I will say that the gift of this program does not come from nowhere. And so as much as people are able to help us get through 2022, we're so grateful for your donations. And don't forget, there are some really beautiful gifts from our artist community going back to you um, as thank yous for uh, reaching deep. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody for being a part of that. And I just want to say Facebook Live, uh, we don't usually do this, but I'm going to unmute everybody and let everybody shout out happy Christmas greetings or whatever other kind of greetings you want to shout. Aaron, I'm going to ask you to put it on speaker so we'll get to see the different faces. And here's a little tip to everybody. If you say something and then you mute after you see yourself on the screen, it will give a chance for other folks' faces to pop up. So once you see yourself, mute yourself, and we'll get to see everybody. Carol, did you have a question? Nope. All right. Everybody ready? And here's my magic unmute everybody button. Oops, except I pushed the wrong one and I pushed mute everybody button. Hang on. <laughs> All right, ready? We're going to unmute everybody. One, two, three, and go. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you, everybody. Uh, that was so beautiful, and it was so nice to see all of your faces. Facebook Live, I hope you enjoyed seeing part of our community. Of course, we didn't get all of the many folks in the room up there, but it was beautiful. Thank you, everybody. And um, I just want to say uh, Merry Christmas to everyone who's celebrating Christmas today. And Merry Beautiful Saturday to everyone who is just grateful, as Kathy B. always tells us, that they woke up this morning and that they are alive. So in the spirit of Kathy, B., Kathy B., I don't really know how to do a boop, boop, happy Christmas Saturday, everything. So I'll just give you all a big Kathy B. Whoop, whoop. And let's remember she was here. She'd do it for me, and she does it so much better. We so wish she was here. Carol Maylard, Phil in Newcastle, thank you so, so much again for being with us. We're going to say goodbye to everybody out there on Facebook Live. Bye.